Hello, I'm Sip Super. I'm Pulled Up Power. And here is a Freedom Planet. Mm. I'm starting to play as a. Uh, I like. Yeah. We're off to a great start. Yeah. They all have weird names. Yeah, this is Lilac. She's a, a dragon, apparently. You know, totally like apparently a dragon. I mean, just look at her. Everyone knows dragons have big anime eyes and stuff. Yeah, I figured we Maybe. should get that out of the way. I like that enemy design. I also like the way it flies off after you kill it. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I actually mess up the spike enemies sometimes because I always have a urge to kill every enemy and then I have to wait for them to actually pop out. Hmm. But yeah, this is a starting level, very green hillish, standard, like not a lot of challenge, not a lot of stuff, just chilling around. Yeah, straight You can see the Sonic influences and all the curves and loops and things ah, like yeah. that. Good old quarter pipes. I guess I should explain some of the game mechanics. This is a very Sonic-like-ish platformer, but there are some differences, like there's actual combat moves that I use a bunch. There's an actual health bar, there's a ring. There's the blue bar, which is just a, a, like the charge meter for your special attacks, so you can't just spam them. Okay. So whenever I use my special, which you'll see sometimes uh, like has like a boost uh, that uses up the blue meter, but normal attacks don't, so kind of. The Cyclone uses it up a bit. It also comes with annoying voice acting. Yeah. Cyclone! It's a really nice uh, double jump uh, slash attack thing. You gotta have your double jumps. Yeah, I guess. They are think. Whoa! Getting all wall running in here. Yeah. You sort of went through that enemy then without taking any damage? Oh yeah, I guess I should mention, one really cool thing I liked about this over Sonic games is that uh, enemies do not damage you on hit. They have mm. to be specifically attacking you, a little projectile or something, to, to damage you. Which really helps keep the flow of the game so you don't have to worry about just running around and getting knocked back. Right, yeah, okay, I can see that. I mean, you have a health bar anyways, but yeah. That is a really nice thing. Yeah, here's the boost I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. It's very special attack. And also kind of a spin dash type effect if you want to speed up. Right. We can also do it in the air, it seems. Yeah, it's uh, really good for finding like secret areas and stuff. You see those half-transparent cards are secrets. They're transparent because they already got them earlier in the game. Okay. Well, fair enough. I mean, we were doing the no, no cutscenes mode. And yeah, well, the, the cutscenes don't explain that either. So The game is pretty much just you get into it and you figure it out. The cutscenes are just plot. Kind of plot nobody really cares about. It's a plot. It's a video game plot. I, I mean... It, it's kind of weird for a game that took so many good lessons from Sonic, also took the bad one. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Here we're kind of a... It's not really mini-boss, more like mini-mini-boss, I guess. It's sort of a mini-boss optional mini-boss, but it seems like it's guarding some extra secret area or something. Well, it's not optional, this is the way through the level, it's just... Oh, okay. It's it's not very, like, usually, you know, a boss freezes you into place and stuff like that. Hmm. But this game does love its uh, mini and actual bosses, so... Jesus. The game has a very uh, Sonic Tree-like structure, where every stage is actually sort of like two stages in one, so you just flow from one to the next. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, fair enough. You kinda know this is sort of like Act 2. They just flow into each other. This level's oh, pretty, right, uh, yeah. This level goes pretty quickly, but it's a lot more noticeable than later levels, which are much longer. Yeah. I guess that was, that guy was like the... the gate between the two halves, or something? That, yeah. That boss guy? Yeah, so yes, I guess you can call it a mini-boss. Mini-boss? Yeah, I think Because the later boss has a bunch of phases, so whatever. But yeah, bo blocks. Who doesn't like pushing blocks? Blocks. It, it doesn't really come up a lot in the game because I always found it kind of a dumb mechanic, but I guess never, the developers did too. It never really came up in Sonic much, did it? It was like they had them in Marble Zone and Labyrinth Zone, and then they were like, let's never speak of this again. Yeah. If you're clever, you can even kind of cheese it past the switch. But I'm not showing that off here. It's an achievement if you do that. Now you're in a forest. Yep. 
first with jumpy things and grabby things, and you know, it's all very uh, oddly familiar. I have a one ups, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess I should mention this has a kind of like Sonic if you collect 200 thingies, I guess you, uh, you get an extra life. But lives are kind of pointless in this game because if you run out of lives, you just go back to where you last were. So the whole uh, collectible life system is kind of uh. redundant. But you know, it's a platform, you still feel like you, you, you want to collect all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what. Collecting things is just sort of the point of place. It's an end in itself. Yeah. I, I don't quite understand the argument. Well, we've got to have lives, otherwise, what are the co collectibles? It's, no, they're collectibles. The, the purpose of a collectible is to collect it. I mean, sure, but, but you know, things like sound test, things like having things like yeah, sound this test is the more proper mini boss. Quite neat for reference. Good idea. Ah, it's kind of halfway between the the actual boss. You just have to hit his. Um, Obvious armor plates. Hit the yellow bit. Yep. Nope. We'll be seeing him later. Uh, I have no doubt we'll be seeing him later because he escaped. Yeah. That standard boss there. M much like all those flies, later on in the game there'll be a boss encounter which is two billion of those little fly things that you uh, escaped from um, after you killed an enemy. Mm -hmm. yeah, as you can see, Bruce is really nice to get some secret areas. Or they are. I guess I should explain the shield too. Shield is also. They're kind of like uh, Sonic Tree shields, except it's a lot more confusing what type of attacks they actually oh. have. Because they're supposedly after, you know, earth, fire, water, that sort of stuff. And this one, I think, is uh, earth or something? I'm not sure. But either way, the thing it does is it also attracts the, the health battles. Okay. And uh, get enough crystals, and you also get an extra health. You also seem to be walking up a wall, uh, like at, at slow speed walking up a wall. Is that an Earth Shield thing? I don't know, I should mention, uh, this game there's no uh, minimum speed for walking up stuff. You can always walk up stuff. Uh, it's, it's like it's not like a bad Sonic where if you stop you stay upside down or something, <laughs> but it's just you always have enough speed to run up anything. Which, you know, helps keep the flow. Since there's no like spin dash or anything. All right. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Yeah. Like this character has a spin dash like boost, but you know, not every character has that. Hmm. So if you want to run up a wall, you just run up a wall. Some days, just gonna run up a wall. Yep. What are the What are the things that come out of crates and they're like yellow, they're yellow balls that don't appear to have any place on the on the meter for them? Yeah, those uh, uh, yellow balls, according to developers, they were originally supposed to be for other characters that are not actually in the game, so all they do now is uh, they count towards the bonus stage. Like, there are bonus stages, and the more of those balls you have, the more tries you get to the bonus stage. Okay. So again, more collectibles for collectibles. Thing. Everything collectible. Yep. They also turn into crystals, like extra health also turns into crystals, everything turns into crystals, which turns into lights, and it's a never ending cycle. <laughs> and there I stupidly lose my shield. All is all will become crystal. Yep. Everything must be a collectible. So are you tired of the cyclone yet? I, I don't actually stop paying attention to it, maybe maybe that's the plan, if they if they do it enough you just stop noticing it. Mm. Oh and here's this guy again. The same guy. This game seems, oh, 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 it's the first level, but it seems extremely generous with the uh, health meter stuff. Yeah, it, it's it's generally generous. Wow, that's a terrible, terrible thing to say. Yeah. But yeah, it, it is the first level and it is very generous, but later levels... Usually they're, they're always pretty general, generous on the collectibles, they'll just crank up the enemy's health and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, uh, it's, the, it's, the, um, it's the guy you were fighting earlier, isn't it? Yeah, he's just teasing us. I see what you mean now about him coming back. Also, I think I took the wrong path here. I was supposed to go down on a later point. I'm, yeah, I'm just running back, so whoops. Oh well. What was that yin yang symbol you picked up earlier? Oh yeah, that unlocks the bonus level. Ah. Find the yin yang, you get the bonus. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's cool. 
So yeah, we'll get to the bonus level at the end of this. It's no Sonic bonus level, it's just a, literally a, a roll a die, get a thing, but you know. Oh right, so a sort of Super Frog style bone? Whoa, hello. Yeah. Talk about obscure references, Paul, jeez. That's the most obscure one I've made so far, I think, but yeah. But yeah. I tried to make an effort to kill all kill the enemies instead of just skipping past everything. Take it slow for the viewer's sake. Also so everyone can see how bad I am at combat, but you know. Well you got a full health meter. That's yeah. all you can ask for. I guess I should point out there's also these things you you'll see sometimes in the level like those red uh, uh, rocks. Red pads and uh, uh, gas cans, that's for another character. That has okay. a motorbike. I'll show her off later in her own level. But yeah, now we get to go underwater. Which mm. is very Sonic. The bubble made you swim. Yeah. It's very Sonic. You have uh, oxygen and bubbles and uh, stuff. Okay. And it, it does have. You a, get the drowning music. It, it does have drowning music. It's not. It's not as spooky as Sonic. It, it does have a little tune to it. I'll show it at some point when we actually go seriously underwater. I guess. Will there be an underwater stage? There's... There's no full underwater stage, but there are like half underwater stages, so don't worry. You'll, we'll see plenty more water later. Okay. Oh, wow! Suddenly now we really bonus. gotta go fast. Oh. At least we don't have to worry about the enemy. It's very much on rails. Oh, the nice destructibility. That boulder has issues. Anyways, here's the proper boss of the game. Now he learned to drop boulders and still do the same thing on his ah. So, pretty straightforward. See, so knock off his armor. But his armor was his weak point in the previous version of the boss. Yeah, it still is his weak point, it just keeps coming back now. Okay. Yep. He just does this spinny thing now, and it's a bit more annoying, but it's still the same strategy. I just, I, I just realized that the, the, the bizarreness of saying the phrase, his armor is his weak point. Yep. Hmm. Also, an easier way to dodge the bullets is to just run up the ceiling where they don't hit you. Boing. Yep. Okay, now we got him for good. Clearly. Hooray! <laughs> Shinies, yay. Lots and lots of shinies. And here's the bonus stage. Hooray, an extra life. And a strange little squid thing that follows you around. That is the extra life. I see. <laughs>